Hey, you two. Give me a sec. What's going on? Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. Give me a short date. Hey guys, it's Kazlo, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about the Destiny 2 beta that is wrapping up this weekend. Now, I was a big fan of Destiny 1, spending tons of hours in it, so it was no question that I'd be picking up Destiny 2, but I got an opportunity to get the Destiny 2 beta this week and see what exactly has changed. And needless to say, it feels pretty great. The beta starts off with you picking from one of your three classes, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. For my playthrough, I decided to try out the Titan since it has a new subclass where it has a shield that it can throw around as well as to bash people, um, similar to the relic from uh, the Vault of Glass in Destiny Year One. The beta immediately then throws you into the opening mission of Destiny 2 called Homecoming, where you are returning to the tower but you can't seem to get any communications in or out of the tower. Lo and behold the entire tower and the city below is in flames and a cabal fleet is flying overhead with something being attached to the traveler. You're then dropped off into the tower having to fight your way through through waves of cabal and encountering a lot of familiar faces including Shax, Zavala, Ikora, and even Kate just to be picked up at the very end by Amanda Holiday and taken to a Cabal ship, ready to take down whatever seems to be interfering with the Traveler. From here, you dismantle the ship's shields, but you can't get a hold of anybody else from the tower, and so you try to make your escape. As you reach the deck of the Cabal ship, you turn around, and somebody's there. And you see something activate on the Traveler, and your ghost falls powerless. And that's the end of the mission, and you're left wondering, how do you get your light back? Needless to say, the storytelling in this mission is miles ahead of anything from Destiny 1. It seems like they've really learned from all the mistakes and are ready to tell a real cinematic story. But the beta is more than just this opening mission. You also get access to two PvP modes and a strike. The new strike, the Inverted Spire, takes place on a new destination, Nessus, which is filled with Vex technology, including a waterfall of Vex milk. You battle through waves of Cabal and Vex. You eventually reach the Strike's boss, a huge Vex Gatelord-like creature known as Protheon, the Modular Mind. The main mechanic for this fight seems to be that the stage changes every one-third of his health, with the previous stage disintegrating and then you falling down to a new lower level. The boss also summons waves of Vex to support it, but other than that, it's a very straightforward fight where you just take down its health. Where you really start to see the changes from Destiny 1 is in its player versus player. In the beta, there's two different modes that you can enter. A new competitive type where one team sets a bomb and the other has to dismantle it. Other than that, it's the first to win five rounds. The other game type is the traditional control, which was the heart and soul of Destiny 1. The game mode's mainly been changed by lowering the scoring system. Now, instead of getting points for assists, for taking zones, all which award points in the hundreds, now you get points based on the number of zones you held, and it's only in the single digits. One point for killing a person with one zone captured, two for killing one with two captured, etc. Ultimately, this does show a lower score on the game, but it seems like it makes the game a lot more competitive. The real place where PvP really shows its changes is in the gameplay. Weapons and abilities have been greatly toned down. It now takes three melee kills to kill an opponent, and a much longer time to kill somebody with your primary weapon. But this allows for a lot more creative gameplay, where you can really take advantage of strafing and team shotting people. The other big change is to heavy ammo, or as it is in this game, power ammo. All the special and heavy weapons from Destiny 1 have been sorted into this new power weapon category. These weapons can one-shot opponents, but you only get power ammo from special power ammo drops, and only one person can pick it up instead of an entire team this time. This means that if you don't pick up the power ammo, you're not at as much of a disadvantage. Overall, I had a great time with the beta. Everything here is Destiny 1 improved. From the storytelling to the gameplay, everything just seems to be at another level. If you checked out Destiny 1 and somewhat liked it, but thought that there was room for improvement, check out the beta. It might just surprise you. Impressing you, Kate, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. If you're watching this the day it's uploaded, you still have a couple of days to check it out. So be sure to download it and tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.